Hi, the SI Meteorologist. Paul Dorian here on Friday, December 13th. Another significant snow event headed for the Mid Atlantic region. Many parts of the Mid Atlantic region will see accumulating snow on Saturday into Saturday night. A, a milder air will move in along the I 95 corridor all the way south and east to the coastline, and it looks like the snow will change to a wintry mix and perhaps even plain rain in parts of the I-95 corridor. This will be kind of a conventional snow event here in the I-95 corridor in that the farther north and west one goes, the more snow will fall. For example, the, the shoreline across the uh, southern and central part of New Jersey should receive an inch or less of snow. South and east of the district, an inch or less of snow. But you go to far northern and western suburbs of Washington, D.C., across northern Maryland, an extreme western part of Virginia, three to six inches of snow could fall. Certainly all the suburbs in the Philadelphia metro region should receive three to six inches of, or, of snow, perhaps even more than that. Just north and west of the New York City metro region, six to ten inches could fall. Poconos up to a foot of snow between Saturday and early Sunday. Let's get into all the details right now. This is the very latest infrared satellite imagery loop from the Wisconsin website. And here is the gathering moisture for our upcoming weekend event, which, by the way, will be the third accumulating snow event along the I-95 corridor this week. And that is quite an impressive feat, not only at really at any time of the winter that's pretty impressive, but especially this early in the winter season. Winter hasn't even officially begun. Again, lots of moisture gathering and down south central U.S. Low pressure will come out of the uh, lower Mississippi Valley, move towards the mid-Atlantic coast, reaching just off the mid-Atlantic coastline by late tomorrow night, early Sunday morning, as it rides up off the New England coast early Sunday. Let's now take a look at the radar. Well, here's the latest radar loop in the south-central part of the country. Lots of moisture gathering itself here, uh, some in the form of rain, some in the form of snow out here in places like Missouri and Arkansas. All of this is headed to the east and northeast, and this will end up being quite a precipitation producer for the I-95 car and much of the mid-Atlantic region on Saturday and Saturday night. Well, let's walk through last, last night's Zero-Z GFS model run for this upcoming event. We'll look at six-hour increments beginning tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, and running through Sunday morning. The snow will push in rather rapidly tomorrow morning, reaching uh, most of the I-95 corridor uh, by the mid-morning hours, moving in from the west to the east. Notice this blue line right here. kind of represents a rain snow line. It should begin in the form of snow. Uh, pretty much throughout the I-95 car, certainly from the Pennsylvania-Maryland border on north, but even in the Washington, D.C. area, it should begin as a period of snow in the morning. Let's now jump ahead six hours. Here's the forecast map for early afternoon. First of all, notice a strong high pressure. That's always a key here for getting accumulating snow in the mid-Atlantic region. You almost always have to have a an anchor for the cold air mass up north of here in the uh, southeastern part of Canada or even New England. Precipitation starting to get a little bit heavier here by early afternoon. Again, primarily in the form of snow at this time in the D.C. region. Still should be snowing, but very shortly after this point, it'll start mixing in uh, with sleet in the D.C. metro region and, and by late afternoon change to plain rain in that part of the country. Let's now uh, jump ahead six hours. Here's the forecast map for early tomorrow night, and by this time, precipitation gets even heavier here in the I-95 car, places like D.C. and uh, the Philadelphia region. And this is kind of the crucial time in terms of snowfall, because right about this time, it should be mixing with uh, uh, sleet in the Philadelphia metro region, but any delay in the changeover to a wintry mix could mean one, two, perhaps even three inches of snow at this particular time as the storm is really intensifying, and that's why snowfall accumulations are, are quite difficult and can change hourly on the day on Saturday. But again, looking like three to six inches throughout the suburban regions of Philadelphia, three to six inches far north and west suburbs of D.C., three to six inches in and around the immediate New York City region and just to the north and west, six to ten inches are likely here. Let's now jump ahead six hours later. And here's the forecast map for late tomorrow night. Low pressure off the New Jersey coastline here. 
snowing uh, very intensely at this time up in the interior sections of southern New England, just to the north and west of the New York City region here. This is an intensifying system at this time. Notice here, high pressure still anchored up along the southeastern part of Canada, northern New England, playing a crucial role in holding in that cold air mass as long as possible. It'll be a fight along the I-95 corridor between that cold air and somewhat slightly milder air from the south and east. It does look like it will change to plain rain in and around the D.C. region, and it does look like a wintry mix is very likely in the uh, Philly uh, region and the Philly suburbs by tomorrow night, but not before several inches of snow will accumulate. Let's now jump ahead to Sunday morning. Well, by Sunday morning, that low is now off the New England coast. Places like central Massachusetts certainly could get a foot of snow. Perhaps even the Boston region, they'll have a battle also between slightly milder air coming in off the uh, coastline to colder air just to the north and west. High pressure still anchored here in southeastern Canada come uh, uh, Saturday morning. So a major snow event for much of the uh, interior sections of the northeastern part of the country on Saturday into Saturday night. Less uh, at the coastline in terms of snowfall, perhaps little, if any, snow along the Jersey coastline and places south and east of the district. But especially from the Pennsylvania-Maryland border, points north and northeast, a another significant snow event to occur on Saturday into Saturday night. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.